continuing our coverage of flooding across eastern North Carolina. Dozens of neighborhoods and roads are still underwater. WNCT's Zora Stevenson went up in the sky to see the damage from up above. She joins us now live from Greenville, Zora. All week we've seen just how catastrophic this flooding is. I'm going to have my photographer pan over so you can see the Tar River. It's still well above flood stage and through all this, it's been really hard to tell where the highway starts and where the river stops and the water looks even worse from up above. A week of flooding and rising water in eastern North Carolina. From Greenville to Kinston to Vanceboro to Greene County and everywhere in between. Well, the main concern is just losing everything that you've ever worked hard for. The images are heartbreaking. It make me feel bad and sad. From the sky, the view doesn't get any better. South and south and east side of the airport was underwater. We start in Greenville. These are images of the PGV airport. You can only see a portion of the runway, and that's what it looks like for many parts north of the Tar River. Then we headed to Lenore County. When we flew into Kinston, we could just see the catastrophic flood damage. Flood levels in Kinston have now surpassed those of Hurricane Floyd. You can see what the rising waters from the Noose River have done to homes and businesses. Business 70 through Kinston, Highway 70 west to Kinston is all underwater. Things are looking up for one part of the east. Earlier this week, we showed you video of the flooding in Vanceboro. The good news is the water seems to be receding. They had a little bit of flooding uh, where Swift Creek leaves on the east side of Town. You can see parts of the town here on your screen. No matter where you live, the impact of Hurricane Matthew will be felt for days, weeks, and even months to come. It's going to be quite a while till we can get a full assessment of all the damage. We will be talking about Hurricane Matthew for weeks and months down the road, but I want to pinpoint some things I've seen just in the past few days, and that's the spirit of the people here in eastern North Carolina. On Wednesday, there was a prayer vigil in Greenville, just a couple steps from where I'm standing. Yesterday, I interviewed a man in Grifton who has no idea how bad his home is, yet he answered all my questions with a smile and even a laugh at times. And then there's the community. So many people have come in to help all the flood victims. Ken and Angela, back to you guys.